And what a way to get into the Mardi Gras spirit with the parades kicking off this weekend. The next four weekends are actually going to feature parades. So lots of activities going on and hoping that the weather cooperates for all of them. I can tell you at least for this weekend, the weather is going to cooperate for the crew of Chewbacca. So here's a look at that forecast. This is for tomorrow night. We'll continue to see some clouds hanging around, thinning out as we go into the evening, and it'll be a little bit on the chilly side with temperatures into the low 50s as we go toward the end of the parade. But the whole weekend is looking great. Lots of sunshine, especially on Sunday as temperatures will remain in the mid 60s. It'll be chilly Sunday morning, though, in the mid to the upper 30s for most locations. Right now, all the rainfall that we had this morning has pushed off toward the east. And we're looking at some drying conditions now, at least for the next several days. And we've had some breaks in the clouds today in the New Orleans metro area up towards Slidell, but still have some clouds hanging on from Homa up toward Hammond and into the Baton Rouge area. And we could see a little bit of patchy fog in those areas as well. So if you may be heading off toward the west tonight or in the early morning hours, you see visibility down to a mile at Homa too in Baton Rouge but not looking too bad for other areas off toward the east, and then it improves area wide as we go into the afternoon. No rainfall, though, to worry about as we go overnight. Temperatures will be dropping into the mid to upper 40s on both sides of the lake, and notice we still kind of have that cloud cover hanging around through the afternoon. Temperatures will only warm into the upper 50s to near 60 degrees, so it will be a chilly Saturday with some breezy winds. And then going into Sunday, the 30s return, 38 Bogalusa, 37 to down to 36 in the Hammond area, even some upper 30s on the South Shore, but no freezing temperatures are expected. Rain chances do return going into early next week. You can see quiet conditions for most of Monday, but here comes some rainfall on Tuesday, some scattered showers, and then a cold front's going to arrive on Wednesday. That could bring some thunderstorms and even the potential for one to two strong to severe storms. So this will be our next system that we're tracking going into early next week. It shifts off toward the east with some lingering rainfall behind that system on Thursday, but planning for the rain next week. Wednesday looks to be the wet day through the afternoon and early evening and some lingering showers on Thursday. So putting it together for you on your seven day forecast, the weekend looking perfect into early next week. Not too bad with those rain chances on Wednesday and Thursday.